Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Thursday, April 24th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And let me begin once again with an update on the forum at our website. It is back. It is brand new. And it is available, so please check it out and start posting. I am happy to say a number of you returned yesterday. Now, I am still hopeful that we can migrate the old comments from the prior forum, but in the interim, it is available. And by the way, we are going to begin doing a push to increase the subscriptions to our daily newsletter. So if you are posting at the forum and you are not getting our newsletter, please visit our website at www.tvmediainsights.com and please sign up for it. Now, we are in day four of our week-long trivia contest theme to The Walking Dead. I will pick out two names from a hat, so to speak, tomorrow afternoon for all the people that got the five questions correctly this week. I have to fess up. I am not a regular fan of The Walking Dead. And my colleague, Colin Williams, gave me today's question. Now, let's head over to USA Network for the launch dates for its roster of new dramas this summer. We will have six entries in total. They are new dramas, Rush and Satisfaction and Returning, Royal Pains, Covert Affairs, Suits, and Graceland. Please visit our website or today's newsletter for those dates. Over at Lifetime, the debut of reality series True Tory, starring Tory Spelling and her husband, Dean McDermott, debuted Tuesday at 10 o'clock with a modest 1.2 million viewers and 615,000 adults 18 to 49. And a telltale sign of when a show didn't do all that well is when a network sends out a press release with the numbers and it doesn't compare it to what was airing in the time period. That is not a good sign. This show focuses on Tory's now troubled marriage, apparently Dean McDermott, cheated on Tory. So what do they do? They do a reality series with the cameras rolling so we can all see it. I don't get it. I guess it's a paycheck and you do what you have to do in Hollywood. Comedy Central has picked up a new series. It is called This Is Not Happening. What is unique about this show is it is not brand new. It is currently running on the web, and this is the first time Comedy Central is choosing a series from the web. This is a growing trend in Hollywood. Arts Network Ovation will air a six-part documentary series called The Royals, focused on the royal family in London. It will debut this Saturday at 5 p.m. And I have to tell you, whenever I think of this family, I always think initially of Joan Rivers imitating the Queen. Netflix has signed a deal with Arrested Development creator Mitch Hurwitz. Her wits, excuse me. This is the first time the streaming service has signed a production deal with a producer. I am not certain if we will see additional new episodes of Arrested Development, but you will see new projects from Mitch Hurwitz, which is a very good thing for Netflix. Coming up on the air tonight, we have two series debuts. The first is a sitcom on CBS called Bad Teacher. It airs at 8.30 out of the Big Bang Theory, and it is based on the 2011 theatrical with Cameron Diaz. Now, when a network waits until April to launch something, you have to kind of think, are they really all that optimistic about the product? I don't think CBS is, but because it is airing out of the Big Bang Theory, Bad Teacher will certainly get sampled. ABC has yet another new drama. It is at 10 o'clock. It is called Black Box. It airs out of Grey's Anatomy. There is a description for you for that show in today's newsletter. And I think ABC's problem this season was while they were very aggressive, which is a good thing, I think they had too many new dramas and they tended to bleed into one another. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1987. NBC aired the final episode of drama Remington Steel. What was interesting about that was it had actually canceled Remington Steel one season earlier, decided at the last minute to bring it back. The series star Pierce Brosnan was not happy because he was in the running to play James Bond in upcoming The Living Daylight, so he couldn't do it. Remington Steele came back for a shortened season. Ultimately, Brosnan became James Bond at a later time. On this day in 1988, ABC announced that five-year-old sitcom Ellen, starring Ellen DeGeneres, 
would be concluding. And on this day, three years ago in 2012, the clan called Kardashian signed a deal worth $40 million with the E! Network to continue doing Keeping Up with the Kardashians and its various spinoffs, which means that deal is coming to an end in the near future. My personal hope would be that they would leave E!, but we all know that is not going to happen. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 24th day of April. The forum is back. Please visit us and post your comments. Have a great day. I will see you back tomorrow. Tomorrow.